Nick Hilkins outside the City Ground, West Ham Fan TV. Marshy, break that one down for us, mate, because we were sitting next to each other during the game. It's, it's poor. It's poor today. Yeah, it is, yeah. I think poor is polite. I think they, uh, it's getting monotonous. And I think uh, you see with a lot of the support now, I think a lot of the, you know, largely the away support, I think is all with each other. I think anyone who does defend him, I think is is going to struggle now and they're in more of a minority like you know we've given him chance after chance yes what he's given us over the last three years is some great memories a trophy first time in 43 years um, but now when time's time that's that's it you know and I think he's shown today I think this was the the pivotal time that we needed to I mean obviously... the stand turned on him today there's banners going up yeah. I mean I, I did say the other day after that loss last week if we don't hit back today it's going to get ugly it got a bit ugly today yeah it did do yeah I think you know before conceding the first goal, we you know it's a bit sort of like equal, if you like. One of a better word, they created a couple of chances. We sort of sat in a bit, but then you know we could have had one as well. We just don't make the right choices in front it's of the goal. It's the attacking intent for me, Marshy. Yeah. It's the attacking intent. You see the way Forest come forward. They come forward in droves. Yeah. They they smell blood, and I said this yeah. on a Forest preview. They smell blood, and they and they knew we was able to take it. Yeah, of course they do. They obviously listen. Anyone looked at the Arsenal six 0 you know the Forest supporters right next to us weren't going to let us, you know, get away with it. You know, are you fucking up at half time, 45 minutes, 25 minutes, you know, when you're going home? Um, which is right, you know, we deserve everything that we get. But I think, you know, the supporters there yet again, behind the team, after a 6 0 drubbing and in the manner that the defeat come. Um, and then you look at today, you know, just can't defend. Do you know what I mean? We just, we look like we are. For a defensive right. team. That's for what, a team for that a, sets for up defensive. For a defensive minded team, and obviously the holding midfielders. How many more midfielders can we get in this fucking team? I don't know. Can we get in the defenders that can defend? Because yet again, we switch off at the most important time in the game, like you know, right at the end of the first half, we ship a goal. We come out second half thinking, you know, we score the next goal. We said it to each other. A few of the other boys around us said it. Score the next goal, we win in the game, we probably go on to win the game. And I heard you just say then to the fella, two shots. You know, Antonio with one when he decides to pull the trigger. I don't think it, I don't think that was a shot. Yeah, no, well, probably doesn't count as a shot. But that, that sums up obviously largely the way that we went about it. Like you know, we. Uh, with the Moyes thing, yes, he's gone with the strongest team available, you know, beside him, Paqueta. We can't be turning around yet again, you know, turning around and saying that we've missed Paqueta, we've lost another game. We're now conceded what? We're now conceded what? 12 goals in, in four games, is it? Yeah. You know, no win in 2024, no win in the calendar year, and this is, people wonder why. You know, enough's enough with Moyes. I've said it a million times, you know, there's players that, you look around that team today when obviously the game's going on, the referee was one thing, I think he was fucking diabolical. But you look around the players, uh, as you said, the front three, Kudus had his head down for half the time. Do you know what I mean? Bowen wasn't in the game. I think they've had enough. I, I think, think they've had enough of playing like and that. I, and I think that's a game that, you know, I think that's a game that nullifies the fact that they're not playing for the manager. You know, the, the players have got to stand up and take responsibility. I know a few of the boys come out after the Arsenal game, they took a bit of responsibility, as you probably would do, or you'd expect to see. Um, ugly scenes at the end when, you know, all of us turning around and saying, you know, fuck off, we don't want to see you. You know, you're applauding us, so you should be. They're a bit worried to come over. I see Antonio, Kudus and I think Zuma over the other edge nearest the Forest support by our, our section. It's not good enough, like, you know. They should be coming over. We're there again. You said it in droves that they come forward. Our support is there in droves yet again. We're singing for the team. We're losing the game again. We're getting behind the team. We're backing them. Yes, we was a bit flat at the start of the second half. I mean, you know, bring Calvin Phillips in. He's made, what, two mistakes now by the sending off. <laughs> All this Yorkshire Perlo bollocks. He's a Yorkshire pudding, mate. And I, I can tell you something else. Ship him out. Do you know what I mean? Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much, man. That's made me laugh, man. That's cheered me up. Thank you very much.